Hello everyone, welcome back to this lovely podcast. As you can tell, <laughs> I'm so excited to record this video to talk about the topic that I'll be talking about, which is how to develop a hot girl mindset. Now, I've made a video about how to be confident, I believe like last year, two years ago. I'll definitely leave it down below um, so you can watch it. This video is going to be a little different um, as I've gained to be more confident uh, within the years since that last video. And I've developed certain habits that I've been implementing that has really helped me change my mindset. If you're not already subscribed, definitely subscribe, hit the like button, and share this with your friends because we are entering a hot girl season. Like, it's 2023. It's time to develop this mindset so you can be the best that you can be. So you can walk into any room and feel like you are that person. You are that girl. You are that man. You are it. You are the prize. You carry the favor. Point blank period. So being hot is a choice. It is simply a choice. It's a mindset. Yes, granted, there is so many beautiful people out there in the world that is way better looking than you, way better looking than me. But if their character is trash, they're just going to be a glamorous trash bag. And that shit stinks. <laughs> like, nobody wants to be around trash. Like, you could be the cutest trash bag ever but you're still trash therefore you smile therefore no one is gonna want to be around you or maybe you have this amazing character but you're just insecure by being insecure people are gonna smell that from miles away just like trash they're gonna smell that from miles and miles away by having that mindset of oh my gosh I'm so ugly. Oh my gosh, this, that, the third. People will pick it up. You are sending that energy out from within. You're sending that out. And even though people are going to say, oh, she's so pretty. There's just going to be something about you that's going to be off. There's going to be something about you that's like, mm, I don't know. I'm going to share a story because I've... What I never grew up to be confident whatsoever. I was actually very, very, very insecure, super insecure. And I just, I would say I didn't start to develop confidence, like actual true confidence until a few years ago. So since I would say from elementary school all the way up until college, I grew up with acne, like so much acne, and that was the major factor of my insecurity. A lot of people around me did not have acne, and I just felt so left out. Um, people would make fun of my acne. They would, like, <laughs> I remember once this guy was like, Oh, I could connect the dots with your face like some corny bullshit and that just made me feel so low about myself but it wasn't until i seen um a girl a beautiful woman on instagram and she had acne and from there i started to develop love within my acne i started to accept my acne and just see everything else besides what was on my face also like i mentioned i felt really different i felt like an outcast especially within my sisters so i have two sisters and both of them have really long beautiful curly hair and i was the only one with short hair with hair that was more that that had more volume than them all in all i just looked very different and they both didn't have acne also so i compared a lot I compared myself a lot and by that it just made me very depressed like I was a very sad little girl like I said I was bullied too not only within my looks but within how I thought like 
I didn't believe I was smart. I didn't believe I was capable enough to <laughs> achieve certain things because I was bullied for for who I was. And I would always look for outside approval, especially within my looks. I felt the most confident once I listened to myself and listened to what I thought was right, what I thought would make me feel good. So how do you develop a hot girl mindset? These things that I'm about to list out are certain habits that I've tried out, that I've implemented, that I'm implementing currently within my day-to-day -day life and I feel like it has really tremendously made a huge impact. There's three things I want to discuss when it comes to cultivating a hot girl mindset. Physical, mental, and spiritually. What I did physically to change my state of mind and to being insecure from being a confident hot girl is the way I dressed. I've always been into fashion, um, but I would say a lot of the time in the past, I would follow trends. I would just buy stuff just because I thought it was cute, but necessarily a lot of those things didn't fit my body type well didn't really go well with my appearance and that is fine like you have to accept the fact that not everything is gonna look good on you like it's okay really figuring out your specific style and i feel like dressing the way you want to dress dressing attractive in your eyes and not for the outside that will definitely play a big role in your emotion and how you just feel because if you are wearing a homeless looking outfit you're gonna feel like shit you're you're not gonna feel as confident rather than wearing something that's gonna make you feel good that accentuates your body that you just feel really good in so really figure out your style and like you know you can go on pinterest you can look at your favorite youtubers your favorite instagram influencers whatever and just pick up on what they do how they piece together things and or just hire a stylist which is me if you are having trouble just hire me and i'll help you out i'll help you out <laughs> also playing with your looks like that's something that i've been doing just playing around with my hair my eyebrows uh, makeup just a lot of things that i would play around with that that builds up my confidence like i remember the first time i did a big chop literally i'll probably insert a video or picture here i felt the most confident when i had no hair <laughs> like it was crazy before in the past my hair was very damaged very damaged which is one of the reasons that caused me to be insecure was because of my curls like it was just i did not know how to take care of my hair initially and once i did a big chop y'all i felt so free i felt so beautiful nobody can tell me shit like that's literally that was my energy and just playing and also like doing braids and different looks and all these things just tapping into different characters is so much fun if you think you're gonna look good you're going to look good point blank period like don't listen to other people because people are only going to put their fears onto you if they say you're not gonna look good it's because it's their fear it's what they think it's like oh I am, I'm gonna imagine myself with this and I feel like I won't look good, therefore they might not look good. And maybe they might be honest, but you won't know until you try. And working out, oh my gosh, working out has definitely, definitely helped me become more confident. There's a saying that I love to say and it's, it's fun being hot, but it's even better being fit and hot. Like. Honestly, if you are having trouble being consistent within the gym, just say that saying. Just remember that saying and it's going to move you. It's going to motivate you because it definitely motivates me. So let's move over to mental. What did I do mentally to be in this state? Mirror work. Now this is such a powerful, 
powerful habit to cultivate an activity to do because y'all it has literally changed my life it has literally changed the way i view myself the way i think about myself it's wild so if you don't know what mirror work is essentially it's looking at yourself in the mirror directly into your eyes and facing yourself you're affirming certain things so for example me and my friends there was a period amount of time we were doing this for like months where we cultivated a group chat and every single day we looked at ourselves in the mirror we recorded this also and we just affirmed things that we believed that we wanted to believe and just all these things and we would just post it on the group chat so i'm gonna do an example if you are listening to this through the podcast I'm sorry just listen but i'm looking at myself in the mirror right now i am so proud of the woman that you're becoming I'm so proud of the woman that I am today because of all the things that I've accomplished, because of all the things that I've endured, because of all the things that I did to be here right now, I'm so proud of myself. I am worthy. I am the prize. I am I am, <laughs> I like, I wanted to, I'm not cutting this part out because it, this is raw. And to be honest, I haven't done this in a while, but it's definitely a goal of mine to get back on this because it works. It really works. And once you do this, like you, you seen, like I had a disconnect. It's very important to do this consistently so that way it'll be easier for you to connect with yourself in the beginning when i did this it was hard it was so hard to just look at myself in the mirror and affirm all these things about myself that a part of me didn't believe and then a part of me did believe and it was just it was hard but once i did it once i did it daily it became easier like i would just look at myself in the mirror and just talk to myself for like 20 minutes and it's a very healing emotional thing to do and i just honestly highly recommend it i can go on for days talking about this but gotta end the video real soon also realizing all the things that make you special all the things that make you who you are you have to realize that you're one of a kind there's no one in this world that is like you that thinks like you that moves like you that talks like you that has a heart like you so you have to really remind yourself every single day of that also what i did to boost up my confidence when i wasn't feeling confident like when i seen somebody on instagram that was so beautiful and had all these things that i would want and it just made me feel like so ugly i would go back to my profile and i would just look at my pictures and i still do this to this day like i stalk my page like i'm probably my number one stalker because i am constantly looking through my pictures and call this conceited call this whatever you want to call it but honey that is self-love i'm loving on myself i'm hyping myself up because who's gonna do it i have to do it every single day to remind myself of the person that i am because there are gonna be days where you're not gonna feel like a hot girl there's gonna be days where you feel so ugly but you have to remind yourself of your beauty even when you feel ugly an activity that i did that really helped me was listing out 30 things that i love about myself and i want you guys to do this grab a piece of paper grab your notebook and grab something to write with or do it on your phone and write 30 things yes 30 things and you don't have to complete it all in one day but i want you to complete it 30 things that you love about yourself and yes there are 30 things that you can find it can be something very small to something very grand like it could be your toes it could be like anything but just write it down because you'll be aware of things that you don't really think about like oh 
I do love that I'm this. I do love that my hair is short. I do love that my heart is kind. I'm hilarious. All these things. Write it down. Okay, and then the last thing for mental. And I'm going to go super quick with this one because I can talk about this for hours. And I'm definitely going to do a separate video on this certain thing I'm going to be discussing. And it's alter ego. Now, for those of you who know me, might know my alter ego. And her name is Victoria. And within this part, I'm going to tap into Victoria so you can see the difference. And you so that you can understand my message here. So, <laughs> let's get into it. And if you're, watch, if you're listening to this through a podcast, just, just go on YouTube and skip to this part so you can see. So, like I was saying, Victoria is my alter ego. And when it comes to having an alter ego, essentially it's becoming someone that you're not. And I'm doing this in parentheses for those who are listening through a podcast. And I'm not trying to say to be this fake person, to change your whole identity and forget who you are. No, it's not that. By cultivating an alter ego, you are canceling out your old beliefs and you're bridging a new belief system. So with Victoria, Victoria does not give a fuck. She is confident in all areas of her life. She takes shit from nobody. She speaks her mind. She's very sensual. She she takes her time. She's a businesswoman and she's all these amazing grand things that Jasmine needs to cultivate first. You see, Victoria already exists. She's been existing this whole entire time jasmine just needs to catch up so then we can integrate together and be one and how i created victoria honestly i don't really remember how it all started but it's when i got my first pair of extensions <laughs> my hair was super long for the first time and i'm like wow i just feel so different i look so different i want to have a new name and Victoria just just came and ever since then every time I had long hair I just felt so confident so when it comes to having an alter ego you don't need to name your alter ego an alter ego is initially energy it's just changing your energy so if you find yourself one day feeling so confident than the other days remember that feeling and on your low days on your days where you need that energy but you aren't feeling it remind yourself of that person that you were that you were on that day and just call it in call in that energy and walk with it the way you talk the way you walk all these things play a role so have a character play with this character play with this energy and once and once you practice it every single day then you can automatically forever ditch that old belief system and cultivate a new one so my last and final thing spiritual <sighs> what do i mean by spiritual because technically meant like the things I listed out mentally kind of deals with spiritual stuff. But what I mean by spiritual is... And disclaimer. Not trying to push any religion, any belief system. This is just what has helped me and my experience. Walking with God. Honestly, I thought about this the other day and I'm like, wow. Deciding to walk with God is so amazing because not only does he develop you into this amazing person, but he elevates you in your looks too. I don't know, maybe it's just me and 
my thinking but honestly i feel like god just made me way more hotter than i was before <laughs> and it's because he is constantly showing me the woman that he's created me to be you know before in the past when i wasn't walking with god when i was confused about god and all these things there was a lot of limiting beliefs there was a lot of insecurity not only within my looks but within my capabilities and that that plays a big role in having this hot girl mindset because having this hot girl mindset you can do whatever the fuck you want to do you can be whoever you want to be and walk with confidence within that and by having this walk with god he has shown me the woman that he's created me to be and within that it just makes my heart very full it has made me realize of wow i'm actually this person i'm actually the person that i told myself that i can't be but i am it just makes me feel more attractive in that sense he's also helped me with consistency you see in the past i had trouble with consistency i would always be in phases like in this phase of my life i was so consistent and then i just fall back down and especially with working out like that was something that I had trouble with the most. But since I decided to walk with God and let God lead, I realized I have no excuse and I have no choice but to listen, but to follow because I realized in order for me to become the person that I want to be, I need to develop these habits and stay consistent with it because if I'm not consistent with it, I will never be it. Therefore, I have to continue to do it until it's something that I just do like brushing my teeth. It's like some, I like cannot complete my day without doing this. And I just want to give grace and just ah, thank you God because I'm still new in this journey. I'm still learning about god and what he does and who he is but just it he has changed my life so miraculously that i just cannot give him the credit and last thing eating foods that make you feel good i'm not gonna make a video about being a hot girl and not mention the food that you eat hot girls don't eat processed food that's just my belief. I, I don't know. In order to feel good, in order to look good, you need to eat foods that that's going to complement that feeling. You cannot be here eating McDonald's 24-7 because one, that's just nasty. <laughs> Two, it's fast food. It's, it's very it's a lot of grease, a lot of fat. So you're gonna feel you're not gonna have that much energy. Your skin might break out, you know, and there's all these things that aren't beneficial for your body. You're you're not going to feel that great. So start implementing more fruits, more vegetables into your meals. Implement more colorful things that is going to promote a good feeling. That's going to make you have energy to do all the things that you want to do. That's going to promote a good healthy mindset because if you're constantly eating meat 24 7 and you find yourself thinking negatively it it's the it's the meat that you're eating it's the meat that you're eating sweetie like i don't want to get deep into this stuff but i feel like this part in particular is very important to say so i'm gonna say it when eating meats heavily processed meats you have to think about how they grew up you have to think about the process of them being transferred over to the specific facility that they're in how, what they're eating their environment all these things because for example if you're eating beef which comes from a cow and let's say before they turned into this delicious hamburger you have to think about okay when they were uh, alive they were probably not in the greatest condition 
they probably were separated from their family they probably were abused um they were probably there was probably a lot of stuff done to them that caused them to feel negative and then they got killed and then they you know all these things whatever whatever and now it's now you're at burger king now you're at five guys now you're at this burger joint eating it up being like oh my god this is so good and then i don't know a few days later an hour later constant repetition of negative thoughts you just ingested that energy from that burger and now it's in you so be very mindful be very aware of what you're putting in your body and it's all about balance you know i'm not saying go vegan go vegan and fuck everything no just maybe instead of having a burger every other day have it once a week or once every two weeks or stuff like that just all in all just eat better so that is about it i tried to go as fast as possible because these topics they're 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 heavy and you can talk a lot about these topics and i'm definitely will be making more videos about confidence because it, it's always levels to this i'm still working on this also i'm not gonna sit here and tell you guys all this and pretend like i'm this ultimate confident girl and i never experienced insecurity and all these things like yes i do i'm human it's normal i hope this video inspired you i hope you got some great tips and you'll implement these and you'll start to develop a hot girl mindset or go even deeper within this so with that being said have a fabulous rest of your week and i'll catch y'all later peace